dear students so today i am starting one new topic that is finite impulse response uh, uh, fir filter means finite impulse response filter design so what it is that i will be taking finite number of samples so let me start with a stra example straight away determine or design a fir low pass filter given a cut off frequency of 0.5 radian with 11 samples so if i write it down so if i write it down the frequency response can be given in this manner it is, is equal to 1 for omega is equal to the greater than equal to 0 and less than equal to 0 0.5 so if i plot it it comes some things like this so and this is up to 2 pi so i can rewrite it what i have done i have taken it as from minus pi to pi and i have taken a, a mirror of the a mirror image of the frequency response of the filter so since the filter specification is given in the time domain uh, in the frequency domain sorry so i cannot sample the, uh, uh, the the filter i need to get the impulse response so what I have done, I have gone for the inverse Fourier transform. What it does actually, it transforms a, 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 a function from frequency domain to time domain. The limit is 0 to 2 pi. I have shifted it from minus pi to pi. And the function is given by this one. So continuing y minus omega c2 plus c, that is from this diagram here you can see that the frequency response is from minus omega c to c so that is why i have taken the limit from minus omega c to c and here it is so i carry on with the integration i carry on with the integration and i reach to this function since sin theta is equal to given by this one so the impulse response is given by this function here i have taken 11 samples that is 11 why I have shifted from minus pi to pi that I will ex explain it to you right now. <coughs> so the sample ranges from minus n minus 1 by 2 to n minus 1 by 2 that is minus 5 to plus 5 for this problem. See what happens. Value of h of 1 and value of h of minus 1 remains the same for this for, for all the computations. Means what is happening? With a single calculation, I am getting the uh, uh, impulse response of two positions. That is, n is equal to 1 and n is equal to minus 1. So, by the, uh, putting n is equal to 1 over here, I get um, I get h of 1, uh, the impulse response of, of n is equal to 1 and minus 1 is this one. Similarly, I compute for n is equal to 2, for n is equal to 3, I get the values. n is equal to 4 and n is equal to 5. For n is equal to 0, you see what happens really. For n is equal to 5, for n is equal to 5, this value, the, for n is equal to 0, this value becomes 0. So it, it becomes a discontinuous function at n is equal to 0. So what I have done over here is for n is equal to 0, I have applied L hospital's rule. Using L hospital's rule, I get the impulse response by this one since a lost virus rule is given by this one so for n is equal to 0 i get h0 is equal to 0 0.5 so now i can get the frequency response using z transform so this is the basic formula why i have multiplied with this one because i want to get the value from 0 onwards so if i multiply with over here minus 5 that is putting 11 is n is equal to 11 i get z is equal to minus 5 and if i multiply with this one the function shifts from 0 to uh, to the right hand side for what i am actually looking for so it goes on like this i put the values and finally i get this result so please follow this one and uh, i'll discuss more regarding this problem tomorrow again so another example i have taken design a fir bandpass filter having the lower cut of frequency this one and upper cut of frequency this one with seven samples so similarly lower cut of frequency is this one for n is equal to zero the frequency response is given by this one 
I have taken the samples in the same manner. So the frequency response plot looks like this. I have again computed the, 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 the uh, I have uh, again performed the uh, inverse Fourier transform and I have come uh, to this relation. So again the same thing happens computation of h1 and h of minus 1 in the same manner I get the same results it is optimized. Yale hospital rules applying I get h0 is equal to this one. Again, multiply with the same the, the same manner and uh, with the same manner and finally I get HZ is equal to this one. So students, please follow the, the lecture very carefully and tomorrow I will start from where I st uh, uh, from where I ended today. Thank you.